Hey guys, Clev here, and today I'll be introducing you to the T-72M in Gunner Heat PC. In-game, the NVA, or East German Army, used the T-72M and the T-72M1. The T-72M would have entered service with the NVA in about 1980. The vehicle features a 125mm main gun with an autoloader. The tank also features composite armor and a low profile, making it ideal to fight hull down, or with just the turret exposed. The tank features a top road speed of about 60 km per hour, which is about 37 miles per hour, and off-road a speed of 30 to 35 km per hour. Its reverse speed is significantly slower at 4 to 5 km per hour, which is 2.5 to 3 miles per hour. Let's talk about how to operate the gunner sight via the fire control system known as the TPD-K1. The TPD-A1 sight features a laser rangefinder. You'll notice the red circle on your screen. That is where you're supposed to place the laser over the target while pressing E to fire it to acquire your range. Your range scale on top of your screen will be displayed in hundreds of meters. You then place the top the triangle in the center of the site on target and fire. Press R to reload. The gun combined with its fire control system is effective out to about 2 kilometers. There is also a backup stadiometric system using the scale in the bottom right of your site. It's calculated based around the average height of a NATO tank in 2.7 meters. Place the bottom line below the enemy vehicle's tracks and the top approximately above the enemy vehicle. According to this, that M113 APC is about 500 meters out. We can manually adjust the range for page up and page down. Let's go to 500 meters, left click and fire. And that was a hit. You can cycle between ammunition types for the main gun with one, two, and three. This will not immediately change which round is in the barrel. On one, you have armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarding Sabo rounds. On two, you have high-explosive, anti-tank, fin-stabilized rounds. On three, you have regular high-explosive. It is recommended that you dump all range in your gun sight before using the PKT. Using the brackets or the F key, you can cycle between your currently selected weapon both the main gun and the 7.62mm PKT coaxial machine gun. The smaller triangular markings below the main reticle can be used to indicate range at various distances for the PKT coaxial machine gun. Let's try around 500 meters for this target. The tank also features a system that will automatically dump range or add it as you retreat or advance towards the target. This can be enabled or disabled with control E. The autoloader system stores ammunition in a carousel in the center of the tank. You can enable or disable reticle illumination with the I key. The tank features a smoke generator that can be activated with Control G. The tank also features a longer range smoke grenade launcher, which you can fire by pressing G. It's got quite some range on it. We're going to wait for the rounds to come down around where that smoke already is. We'll see. And splash. They, those landed a little further out. For night vision, the tank features the, and this is going to be a mouthful, TVN-1-49-23 night sight, which is paired with the Luna 2 infrared illumination spotlight. The night vision system is capable of detecting targets out to one kilometer. However, the illuminator device can make you very visible at night to other night vision equipped vehicles. From the commander's hatch, press T to enable or disable our night vision goggles. Press N to enable or disable the IR illuminator, which follows the barrel. If you go back to the gunner site, you press T to enable or disable utilizing the night vision device. It is recommended that you dump any range before entering the night vision device. 
All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this has helped you out. Plev out.